I'm Irma Flinoa, and I live at 1605 Clay Street. And uh, tell me what it means to you, Irma, to see these houses coming down like this. It's a joy because we have walked and prayed for uh, five, six years for this to happen. And finally, they're coming down so new homes can be put in. It's a joy. I sit out and look at them old houses sitting there and praying there's nobody child up in there playing. And the snakes are not going to come out and bite us and now they're going down. We won't have that fear now. My name is Louis Brossett and I live at 1524 Clay Street. I am a, a recipient of one of the new houses built here uh, for the Fuller Center for housing. And uh, that's where I live. just have to be able to live in one of these houses to know exactly how I feel about these houses being down. When you when you say that you got a, a bathroom in your house and these houses only had a toilet and if you had a bath uh, tub it was it was only used by a a, a galvanized uh, big tub that your parents gave you a bath in. So to me it's a blessing and it's new beginning for us. I, I think it's it's one of the greatest things that the Fuller Center came into Shreveport that uh, I know that God sent them in here. I know that. In, in, in Allendale, I, I probably stayed on every street over here. Clay, Alston, Patsman, uh, Allen Avenue, Pier Avenue, Perrin, <laughs> you name it, I've stayed on a many of streets over here. And uh, I think when we left out of, out of here, I was 16 years old. So uh, it was kind of rough for us. You know, it was really rough, rough for, for my mother. She did the best that she could. But but uh, as far as, as, as we were little, we didn't know that these were, were houses that, that, that someone never should be even living in but uh because they never my mother never talked to us about that so we we just thought that we just had a house you know so uh life went on you know <laughs> <laughs>